Hi, I'm Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to convert DVDs to iPod and PSP video files. Now I should preface this with saying that uh, this shouldn't be used with the intent of copying uh, DVDs uh, such that you can have an illegal copy of it and break the copyright of the DVD. Uh, there are fair use standards in the United States that say you can make backup copies of DVDs that you own and this should be the only purpose whereby you would ever copy any type of DVD. Let's go to our computer. The program that we're going to use is one called Handbrake and it's a free program you can download. If you just search for the word uh, Handbrake and, and DVD at the end of it, click on this and you go to handbrake.fr where you can download a program called Handbrake. This is our conversion utility that we're going to be using. I already have it installed. Let's just go to the Start menu, All Programs, Handbrake, and let's run Handbrake. This is a huge program with a whole lot of options. Basically what's going to happen is you click the Source button. After you have inserted your DVD into your DVD drive, and it locates that, that there's a DVD installed on there and it tells the directory that's going to pull from, which is the F drive on my computer. So I'm just going to select that. Now, this is going to actually parse through the contents of the DVD. It's going to decide where the chapters are and, and other information like that. That takes quite a while. It says one minute, but it could take considerably longer than that. So I'm going to click Cancel and continue on with this uh, demonstration. Now, from there, you can choose the chapters after you let it uh, determine those. You can choose the chapters that you would like to save. But what we want to do is we want to choose where we want to save the file as. So let's click Browse. You can also choose the file type you're going to save it as. Go with MP4, which is what can be loaded on an iPod. I'm just going to call this My Video. And you can also choose some presets. I'm going to go with the MP4 format preset. Now, you have several options. You can crop the picture, you can change the size of the source and the aspect ratio after you have everything uh, filled in. And you can also choose the, whether to include the subtitles, uh, information like that, off of the DVD. Now once you've chosen the options that you want to choose, and you have a little bit of time on your hands because it's going to take quite a while to import this uh, a full DVD, just click Start. That's going to launch a process which will copy the DVD to the MP4 file on our hard drive. I'm Dave Andrews, and I've just showed you how to copy DVDs to iPod or PSP video files.